Oh my word, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is Star Citizen. And sometimes this game kind of just takes your breath away. And today, I've got the delightful, beautiful, biggest ship in Star Citizen currently. The 890 Jump, which, if you don't know, won't be the biggest ship forever. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when the next biggest ship comes in. Uh, but today, I'm going to show you why I love the 890 Jump very briefly. I'm going to show you the incredible upgrade I've made. I actually think it's incredible and you guys are going to love it. And then we're going to do some missions to see if this makes sense in Star Citizen. So yeah, drop a like if you enjoy. Kick back, relax. Let's check out this 890 jump. But yeah, if you've never seen the uh, 890 jump here in Star Citizen, it is a luxury cruiser. And uh, even if you've seen it before, it's always a nice little treat to like visit the ship and have a look around because it's so luxurious. We've got gold in the marble. We've got sliding doors that are made out of glass. Like, I mean, what else do you want? Fancy lighting. It's got a freaking swimming pool. It's got everything you need. Fancy wooden decking. Wait, is this empty? Hang on. I, th I think Chris emptied my pool. Chris! Where's my water at? Okay, there are actually some really good things about this ship. The first thing being the fact that you can set a respawn uh, thing on this ship. So if you die, uh, you can come back. Cloning. It's the best. <laughs> oh, man. Please never clone me. That'd be dangerous. It also has a, a wonderful amount of storage space for your space crap, which is beautiful. Look at it. There's loads of it. And also, it's like the best ship at showing scale and detail and just emphasizing how cool Star Citizen is. But despite all that, I've upgraded this thing with this absolute beauty. And actually, this is the real special source of my uh, ship today, the 890 Jump. Actually, first of all, first of all, let's get ourselves a view. Also, basketball hoop. Hello. Look at this. Oh. This, my friends, is probably, I mean, if not one of my top five ships in the game. The reason why I love this ship is because it's fully customizable. And when I say fully customizable, I mean I've put in a coffee machine, I've put in a speaker system, I've put in an alarm clock. It's next level. Also, it's my perfect smuggling vehicle, which I did a video recently, which you can find right here. So yeah, I customized everything about the ship, so the seats, the uh, wood paneling, uh, so I'm going for a smuggler that also likes luxury. That's my role. Um, we've got panoramic roofs, lighting, a bathroom. Lovely. Uh, actually comes with a fire extinguisher, which is uh, nice to know we're nice and safe. And yeah, I've like fully customized it. So we've got this. I'm not even sure what this is. You press use and it spins around. <laughs> I think this was two dollars. Money well spent. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I've got a coffee machine, which um, I can... It comes with a mug. I can make coffee. Now I'll just do stuff. Look, you get a little animation. That, come on, that is pretty cool. Who doesn't love virtual coffee? Although, I will say, I think it's a little broken because... I mean, if I look at my coffee... <laughs> There's nothing in here. I've been robbed. Can I, can I put this back? Hang on. There's only one thing to do. Screw you, Microtech. Have a freaking mug. So, I have no way of making coffee anymore. But it doesn't mean I don't have a fridge. Which, if I get out uh, a little, little water bottle, I can uh, put in. I can put in my fridge, look. Uh-huh. Beverages. All right. Uh, we do also have a little speaker system, which unfortunately, the one job it has, <laughs> it doesn't do. Um, kind of wanted some music. Maybe Port Olisar theme song to come on or something cool like that. No, nothing. Uh, we got a bed. Uh, we got a cool little picture frame with random citizens that I don't know. Uh, and an alarm clock. That's kind of cool. And finally, I actually really like this. A uh, little space here to store weapons and wine glasses, which is lovely. Uh, we've got um, a toy pistol, <laughs> an actual weapon, 
and then an experimental electric weapon, which is kind of cool, and then two large LMGs. And also, we do also have a wardrobe with nothing in. Outrageous. In terms of weaponry, we've got two uh, sort of Gatling guns on the side, some missiles, and the reason why I picked this ship for smuggling, uh, it's quite a nice little money maker, is because, I think you've got to stand quite far back, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's got a little sneaky compartment for storing illegal vice goods, and uh, it's pretty nippy, it's pretty good, and pirates tend to not bother you too much. Alright, so, yeah, as I said, we're gonna go do some missions, it's really cool, uh, this whole wombo combo, because we've got a ship that can go and do some missions, and then we've got more of like a home base, respawn area, uh, we can collect weapons, we can, you know, restock, we can clone ourselves, so, you know, we, we can survive the verse another day. It's rather lovely. Let's put our helmet back on. Better to be safe than sorry. Uh, so yeah, let's go and do some missions. We're gonna do a few. The first one is we're gonna do some dogfighting. Alright, so first up, I wanna do a pretty cool mission. So, this... <laughs> is gonna be interesting. So, Basically, I've got a target in the middle of this asteroid field, and the last thing you want to do with the biggest ship in the game is go into an asteroid field. So, it actually kind of makes sense in this scenario to take the big boy ship and then deploy the, the small ship. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so, yeah, all I have to do is make a mental note on what direction this <laughs> ship is, because unfortunately... Chris, I'm looking at you. Uh, there's no way to kind of quantum back to this ship or leave a marker anywhere to this ship or anything fancy like that. I'll say yeah, because I'm hoping that that will come out in the future. Um, but yeah, right now it's kind of... Uh, this situation is you just got to be mindful. The other thing you can do, and I've done before, is you can actually do a loot box mission, like a delivery mission, and that has global... Um, what do you call it? Like, navigation? Uh, like, you'll see where it is from anywhere else on the map, which is pretty cool. So, I would definitely recommend that. Um, you know, if, uh, you want to do this and be a little bit safe. I'm hoping, because the 890 Jump is such a big, colossal ship, it's going to be hard to lose. Hopefully. He says, we may, we may still lose it, which is going to be hilarious, but, uh, yeah. Right, so I'm looking at 50, so if I do, this is really not accurate, but if I do 180, <laughs> it's like 230, 235, 233, alright. Um, that's really a terrible way of doing this, but I'm going to try and go in a straight line and then go straight back, that's... That's my plan. Uh, let me know in the comment section whether or not you think I was ever going to find my 890 jump ever again. Um, goodbye, <laughs> 890 jump. <laughs> you will be missed. I really hope this works out for me. Whoa, we're going really fast. Holy blimey, that's quick. Now, you'll notice I've actually got, like, ballistics rather than, like, lasers. And the reason is in smuggling scenario, that's, that's, uh, that's not a bad plan. Let's fire a couple of missiles to freshen up this guy's paint job. And then we'll go with the ballistics. Hopefully we'll have enough ammo. Oh my word, there's quite a few. We only need to kill this guy though, so I'm going to concentrate on that. Right, fire them. And then... Uh, we'll just have to be really careful with the ammo. Okay, wish me luck. Mission, don't die, slash, don't use all the ammo, slash, make sure we get this guy. Oh no, they're already firing missiles at me. Okay, got rid of those missiles, good stuff. God, this feels really fast. I don't really want to be going this fast through an asteroid field. Okay. Collision alert. <laughs> Slow down. Ooh. Now, one thing that would be kind of cool is, um, oh my word, I'm missing so many shots here. <laughs> oh my word, this is so, I don't actually think this is going to work. Uh, I'm actually out of ammo. 
<laughs> this was a terrible plan. I don't have a plan. Actually, I do have a plan B. Hang on. Wait for me. Hopefully this will work. I'll just go back to my ship. <laughs> I really thought the ammo would go further. <laughs> this has been a terrible setup. Has anyone, <laughs> has anyone seen an 890 jump? I may have lost it. Oh, this feels bad. Oh, there's literally no way of me finding it either. I should have done the delivery box thing. All right, okay, so genius plan, quantuming out and coming back. My 890 jump is... Nowhere to be seen. Shh. What about if I do OM2? Hang on. This is good in... Th this is a good idea in theory, because the quantum marker back to this should be the same. Quantum drive activated. Wait a minute. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! I found it! Yes! Oh, I'm a genius! Okay, alright. So... <laughs> Maybe I need to change the load out of this ship uh, before we do any more. <laughs> I'm so happy right now before I need to do any more bounties. But it doesn't mean I can't take care of it with the 890 jump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to land this. All right. Oh, no. We need to go forward a bit. Um, but I'm pretty sure this 890 jump has missiles, right? So let's go ahead. <laughs> And um, I'm so happy right now. I, <laughs> I'm a genius. I mean, I'm an idiot for thinking that like 850 bullets was going to take on whatever target I was taking on. But I'm also a genius for figuring out how to find my ship again. Right? Right? I love how I was like, I refuse to go into an asteroid field. Ten minutes later, I'm actively plowing myself into an asteroid field. I'm going to be incredibly careful. But... Uh, size 3 missiles totally should be enough for the target that we're uh, particularly going for. <gasps> oh my word, that was terrifying. <laughs> I thought there were no asteroids and then suddenly there was like a million. Right, here we go. So we have our target again. That's the damage we did to him before. Uh, let's slow up here. Make sure there's no asteroids in front of us. And, yeah, I'm going to say four missiles should be enough. Uh, absolutely. If not, to just disable him so I can, I don't know, ram him or something. Surely I can ram the guy. He's only in a small ship. Right. Enjoy. Oh, man, that looks cool. That should do it. One, two, three, four hits. I didn't kill him. Right, if this doesn't kill him, I'm screwed. Basically. Well, I'm not screwed, but there's a high chance I don't get out of this. Oh, the last one got him. <laughs> oh, objective complete. Excellent. Right, okay. In that case, let's try and find a better use for this because uh, that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> wow, this looks pretty insane. Uh, I'm kind of speechless right now. Um, I do have a plan B or a next task. So we've got a derelict settlement uh, outpost, sorry, to uh, collect a package. There will be uh, bogeys there, but I figured it's probably not a good idea to turn up with an 890 jump. So what I intend to do is park very closely to this uh, location here, which is, uh, you know, I can mark it and remember where my 890 jump is, and uh, then take my 315 postage and packaging uh, via just just flying, not actual quantum, to the destination and come back. Uh, that's a pretty cool idea. I quite like that idea. Um, I wish I could do it in the sky. Um, obviously, in the future, we're going to have very different quantum boosts and the system is going to completely change in the future, so this isn't going to last forever, but um, it's kind of cool, I guess, and I can't seem to target whatever that is down there. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh my word, this thing's just like warping in. That's kind of scary. What is this exactly? Is this a location I can turn up to, or is this a... Uh... <laughs> there is stuff everywhere. What is that? Is that a cave? Whoa, that's neat. Look at that. Never been here before, actually. 
So, yeah. <laughs> this looks like a great location to park. Alright, sweet. So I can just park my little ship next to the giant hole. Lovely. Just dropping by. Hello. And I literally dwarf that building. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Right, let's turn off the engine. Wonderful. I do not know what's in that hole. That's weird. Alright, look and check this out, guys. How's this for a freaking cinematic experience? You got the the sky, you know. The doors open. And then the dramatic. Oh yes. Moving up. Wonderful. <laughs> Come on. That was pretty neat. Not gonna lie. Like seeing dead ships in the ho on the horizon there. That's pretty cool. So what these are, by the way, uh, are bounties people have gone and done. And then the debris is just littered around us. And again, I don't think I've ever been in that hole. I don't know what's down there. If anyone knows, let me know. This is kind of cool. So there we go. Lift off. Um, landing gear up. Look at the stealth. Look at the stealth of my postage and packaging vehicle. It's brilliant. I have absolutely no ammunition or anything to defend myself with. Uh, but if we land, we should be fine. Which is awesome. And because we've got that quantum marker back where we left the 890 jump, technically... I shouldn't be able to lose it. I don't think. Where is the settlement then? Is that it there? What the frick is happening here? All right. Oh. I think I had cruise control then. <laughs> I tried to stop when I was just zooming away. That's incredibly scary. All right, so there should be anyone here? Where is our box actually? That's what we should find out. Our package is down there. Um, I don't see any bad guys. I see a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of debris and somebody else's ship, which is technically alive. That's kind of insane. Should we park next to it? Oh, the door's open. That's really cool. Right, so, I actually don't need the weapons that we brought because I have a big gun here. Um... And I'm hoping there won't be any bad guys. But uh, you never know. So keep your wits about you. Look at that. That's crazy. Huh. I think sometimes there's meant to be bad guys. Sometimes there's not. I'm not sure if it's meant to always be bad guys. Um, oh. There are bad guys. I found some bad guys. Sorry, sir. My package is waiting for me. Alright, so grab that. Run! <laughs> no more bad guys, please! Luckily, I do also... Oh, shoot. I do have a little um, storage facility. Which is good. And I've picked the wrong... Uh, there we go. That's the one we want. Alright, so I've got the box. Now let's close the rear. Alright, with the loot box in our uh, caboose and um, them going absolutely crazy with the lasers, uh, we're going to get out of here and uh, heading back to where we came from. All right, I think this is it here. Oh, look, there it is. Landing gear. Did I put my landing gear down? Yes, I did. Sweet. All the stuff's here from before. Crazy ships crashed. The building. All we need to do now is park it nice and slowly. <laughs> Not crash. That would be marvelous. What am I doing? This is nuts. My camera work is awful. Oh, that's... I mean... I'm in! Deactivate 
Okay, so I've actually parked myself at an OM marker. I believe I'm at a... I should probably check this. Uh, what, what OM marker is this again? <laughs> One moment. It is... Drumroll, please. OM... One. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave this uh, 890 jump in space. And then when we come, like, we can just kind of do the whole leave the big ship in space and kind of go down with the small ship. That's kind of how I imagine this sort of thing um, would normally work, right? If, like, the game's finished and it's out, you don't typically take the big ship down to the planet. Like, right? That makes the most sense. Whoa! Sorry. That looks insane. That looks crazy. Huh. But yeah, I don't know if I, I think I mentioned, but it's pretty neat because you can actually fully customize the ship, like the paintwork and all the color schemes and things. I'm pretty sure I did mention it, but I just love it because it's like you're buying a new car. You know, when you go to a, like a website and you pretend that you're buying the car and you customize, you're like, oh yeah, I want the the big rims and uh, I want the speed pack and I want the uh, luxury upgrade. You do all of that, and then uh, you go to the end and go, huh, that's a lot more money than I have. Close window. Um, but actually, on Star Citizen thing, the little upgrade's kind of cheap, and it's kind of fun. And it kind of definitely simulates that experience, <laughs> which I wish more ships did in the verse. I think it's really cool. Right, so what have we got here? We've got... What is that? Oh, my word. Is that another crash ship? I think so. It's hard to tell at this range. Yeah, it is. Huh. That looks awesome. It's like falling into a ditch. Right, so this is where we're landing. Nice, simple one here. Just dropping it off here. Okay, cool. Let's land on the landing pad here. Smooth like butter. Delivery! Coming! <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nine hundred million dollars given to us, right? Nine hundred million? No. Just like eight grand. Four grand. <sighs> Shall I get some cargo? Sure, why not? What can we buy? Distilled spirits. Let's get some booze. Sure. I like spending money. Consider this. This is a, this would actually be a cool mission if you had to like buy spirits for your 890 jump. Why is that not a, like a gameplay thing? Hang on. I just need to. There might be precious loot. I'm such a dirty loot goblin. Hmm. No. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. That's not interesting. Never anything good at all. I don't know why I bother checking those boxes. There's never anything good in them. Aha! Red box! Here we go! Mm, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this helmet's kinda nice. This is a nice helmet. I'm glad I picked that up, actually. Okay. Uh, let's just put that there. Oh yeah! Look, yeah, we got a cool little upgrade. That's nice. That's nice. Now, my question is whether or not I can navigate back to my 890 jump again. So it was OM1, wasn't it? Wait, what's... 500 meters away. What's over there? What is my camera doing? Hello. Let's just let's have a, Hang on. Things need to be... Whoa, easy. What is this? What is that? Bit of loot? Okay. Well, not really that interested in that. Whatever that is. Um, what I am interested in is OM Marker 1. Oh, this is quite cool. So I just need to leave the atmosphere. So out the camera. All right, here we go. Eight ninety jump in three, two, one. Oh yes! Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is actually really neat. Not gonna lie, this is definitely the proper use case. I would say hundred percent. Like not going down to the planet, just hovering in space, 
going down, doing the mission, coming back up, like 100% that is the wave. All right, so I thought I would come up with this genius plan. I don't know if it is genius. It's either going to be pretty cool or uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, I thought it'd be awesome to turn the 890 jump into a glorified upgrade station for my honestly terrible setup for my Origin 315P. Um, <laughs> I mean, you guys saw we run out of ammo real quick. We couldn't take down one ship. Uh, it needed some work. So what I figured we'd do is something really new to Star Citizen at the moment. And that is to get a salvage claim and then sort of steal the weapons on the ship rather than going to a shit uh, like a store and buying it. I don't know. I just thought this was kind of cool. Well, I just love the idea. And I really want a ship in Star Citizen that like will repair your ship for you i don't think it's coming anytime soon but this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> as close as i can get you know hangar with the with the uh 890 jump here kind of boosting towards a salvage claim and then um doing all the the hard labor myself all right so there's our ship uh so it's a very similar ship actually it's the origin 325a i think it's slightly better um, and what I'm hoping to do is sort of pull up alongside it. All right, there we go. Oh, oh no, I hit it. Damn it. All right, okay, I'm close enough. It's still kind of moving, but honestly, I think eventually it will stop. So I'm going to go to the hangar now, and uh, this should be pretty good. All right, so I've got my little multi-tool here, and... Basically, if you don't already know, you can uh, kind of like pick up and put down uh, weapons if you unlock the ports on the ship. I think I've already gone ahead and done that, but if not, I can do it again. And it's pretty cool because I can just kind of take off. Let's see. Oh, yes, I have. Sweet. So I can kind of take off um, this Gatling gun, put it in my workshop. <laughs> And put it on the floor. There we go. It's pretty cool. These actually look really awesome. Look at that. Oh, love the detail. So there we go. Uh, unfortunately, with the postage and packaging version of the ship, you can't actually take off the tractor beam right now. It's actually stuck, but that's fine. Um, all right, send elevator. <laughs> Welcome to Ollie's workshop. Uh, now I just need to find the ship that we were kind of going to... Whoa. Take stuff from. Where is it? Here it is. Whoa! Hang on. I'm bad. Okay, so there is the ship. That's cool. It pulls us in. So this is the ship, look. Oh no, it's gonna hit me in the face! No! Whoa. I think we managed to get it. So change the tractor beam to. There we go. They're a little bit busted, but I'm pretty sure I can repair them and whatnot. Um, any other stuff in the ship, actually? I don't know if there would be anything, but I can have a look. This thing just won't stop moving, will it? Nope. <laughs> I'm not getting in there. <laughs> it just... <laughs> uh, we do have another Gatlin gun, size 4, which is kind of cool. Let's just leave that for now. So now, we just... Push those up there. Not too far. Thank you. Bring that down to the hangout. There we go. See? Gravity picks it up. Right. Sweet. Man, this is actually kind of cool. So now I can... Because it's the same size, size 3. I can go over here and attach it to my ship. There we go. Nice. So these are cannons. I think this is actually the standard loadout for this particular ship. Um, there we go. Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Let's check it out. See if it works. There we go. They've powered on. Nice. Oh, that's, that is pretty cool, isn't it? There we go. We've got some weapons. Woohoo. All right, you know what we should do? We should try that bounty one more time, and then I think we'll call it a day. Okay, so here we are again. This time, I'm going to be a little bit... Uh, actually, no. 
I was going to say I'm going to be a little bit smarter, but you... Mm, no, you know what? I am going to be smart. So I'm pulling up here at OM6. And uh, the target is technically... Wait a minute. Is that someone near me? No. Um, so technically, I'm still going to have to travel 200 uh, kilometers or whatever. 226 kilometers or whatever it is. Um, but what it does mean is I'm not going to lose the 890 jump, which is good. I don't want to lose the 890 jump. When I nearly lost it before, I was very lucky to find it again. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is much better. Alright, here we go. Target location. Uh, we are doing a slightly tougher... Oh, no. Um, we're doing it in pitch black as well, apparently. Oh, this is so scary. Asteroids are literally invisible. Um, it is a slightly higher risk target, sorry. Uh, so, just bear that in mind. I don't know how easy it's going to be. We don't have any missiles, do we? Used them earlier. Oh, it's a bounty. Oh, this is the guy. Um, a, a reclaimer. I've got to kill a recla- A reclaimer. Wow. Okay. Crazy. Um, yes, you've targeted me. Congratulations. Right, let's- Whoa, what is that targeting? Oh my word. <laughs> you okay, bro? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Collision alert. Oh, watch out. Are they waking up? Are you awake now, sir? So this is just the buck in here, so this isn't going to put up too much of a fight. Shields are down already. I just have to get rid of these smaller ships first. Okay. Uh, I have to get rid of the small ships first, otherwise I will inevitably get peppered slowly but surely. Right, that's the Reclaimer. And we want the... Where is he? There he is. Hello. Oh, you're, you're a bit sleepy as well. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't have Gatling guns for this. Alright, three, two, one. Hey. Woohoo. Nice. Next up, <laughs> we've got this literal behemoth. Honestly, it would be kind of faster for me to somehow infiltrate and kill the pilot. Um, I don't think that's possible right now, but that, yeah, that would be much cooler. This is actually going to take me like a year. I'll see you guys when it's a little bit uh, damaged. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that made me jump. Holy. There we go. That actually wasn't so bad, to be fair. Uh, that actually went pretty well. Uh, let's... I'm, I know I kind of want to finish up this video. This video has probably gone on way longer than I wanted it to. Um, but, having said that, we have just killed a reclaimer. And I'm interested to know... If there's anything inside, there might be some loot. So, give me two seconds, guys. Let's go and have a little little look. Pretty sure we can just get inside, right? Oh, man, imagine if there was, like, still NPCs in here. Hang on, where's the floor? Uh, there we go. Oh, there's no gravity. Got it. <laughs> That's weird. All right, let's just get out a weapon. I don't think there's any NPCs in here, but there might be. So... Yeah, I don't think there's actually any... Whoa! <laughs> that freaked me out. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Only... Oh, there is some loot. Okay. So what have we got here? What is this? I really wish there was a way of knowing. Um, oops. My bad. Um, so what... How do I know what this is? I actually have no idea of knowing what this is. But there is loot in here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I have no idea what this actually is, so I have no idea if it's worth taking. Yeah, I wish there was a way of knowing what it is. Like, I wish it said. You know what would be really cool? If I could, um, come back here with a vulture. I actually, I might do that video. Um, take on a high-risk target, kill a reclaimer, and then get to salvage it. That actually might be quite cool. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. But, annoyingly, <laughs> I'm going to have to take a gamble here. And, um, 
remove some of the stock I've got, which is a bit annoying, because I, I think I've got some on here. Yeah, I do. Oh, it looks the same. Is it the same thing? Did I just get more distilled spirits? Um, right, I'll see you guys. I'm going to find out what this loot is, and then... Um, oh, it's just such a shame to leave this thing here. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, like I say, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when we're actually going to do some high-risk target um, maximum profit <laughs> thing. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you when we can find out what was in that um, reclaimer. Got a bit of an interesting situation. There's a couple of uh, well, there's a couple of guys around. Uh, there's also a couple of black just hanging out by Brios. So I'm a little bit suspicious. Um, but I am going to have to come in hot here. But I really want to find out what this is. I really don't really want any trouble. I just want to sell my stuff, so... Let's just park it down here and... Oh, there's a dead body over there. What the hell? It's cool, though. The lights are on inside. That's usually not the case. Okay. No one's hiding. Right. <laughs> right, let's see. Select the P... What was it we had? Widow, Slam, Etam. Oh man, that's worth 11k on itself. Widow. That's 13k. And how much is Slam? 16k. Alright, damn. Like, the Reclaimer stuff is actually pretty decent, so... Yeah, for that little hit there, that's pretty decent. The rest of the cargo I had was obviously just, um... Some distilled spirits, so nothing interesting, but... Yeah, damn, that's awesome. Love that. Uh, let's go back and see if my 890 jump is still where I left it on a different moon. And, um, yeah, we'll finish up. Alright, OM6, I think, is where I left my 890 jump. After all that, after, like, defeating a reclaimer, selling the cargo on another moon. Um, oh, I think it is. Hell yeah, there it is. Oh, that is actually pretty neat. Let me know. Was the length of this video too much for you guys? Or do you want more videos like this? I don't know what the edit is going to end up like, but I imagine it's going to be pretty long. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, definitely drop it a like. And um, man, get in the comment section with any recommendations for future uh, 315p jump wombo combo content. Because this has been great. I've actually really enjoyed this. Um, and it's been a long video. But there we go. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.